This is the place, Bradford Beach, north of Milwaukee. Once a popular destination, but in recent years, frequently closed to swimming. The crime, E. coli contamination. The problem, having rounded up the usual suspects, policymakers didn't know who the criminal was. Most water quality testing is just based on culturing E. coli. You can't tell if that E. coli has come from a human or an animal, and we really want to get at what's the source. Dr. Sandra McClellan and her lab have taken up the case. They are working to tab the culprit using cutting-edge detective skills and funding from Sea Grant. We're using DNA-based technologies where we actually look at the DNA sequences of different bacteria to tell if it's from animal or humans. Kate Field at Oregon State University developed a human-specific marker for identifying sewage. And then we've also worked on some of our own markers, de developing a gall marker and a raccoon marker and different markers for some of this non-point source runoff. Armed with these new weapons, McClellan's detectives visited the scene of the crime. Anything running off of the parking lot down there, running off of the ravine, which is a huge source of water, and running off the streets is going to enter this outfall. During a rainfall, we would come and collect water samples from the outfalls. And that's very important because that stormwater system is released directly into the beach water. So, who was the culprit? One of the things we have found at Bradford Beach, as well as many other beaches, is that non-point source runoff. All the water that runs off the streets and the parking lots carry a lot of bacteria and it was contributing to the beach closings and, and overall poor water quality. Raccoons, um, people not picking up after their dogs. But we also found that gulls contributed a lot of E. coli directly into the sand. Recognizing animals, not human sewage, were the culprits. Authorities are now taking action and cleaning up this neighborhood. Different agencies have stepped forward to make investments. Miller Brewing Company has donated almost a half a million dollars to improve the beach environment. Milwaukee County has spent almost a million dollars putting in rain gardens and fixing a parking lot that's going to mitigate a lot of the non-point source pollution. The data is what really helped because it was just apparent that it really was when it would rain that's when we'd have a problem down here. And it wasn't just based on, oh, well, I think, or it, common sense would tell you, it was based on the science. While this case has been solved, there's still work to be done. One of the advantages of doing DNA technology rather than culture is you don't have to grow the bacteria overnight. So one of the major challenges um, for the beach community right now is trying to figure out how can we make these tests very standard and very simple to do so we can do the four hour testing and post the results right away. So that will be the next step in beach testing over the